everyone to the Amazon Effect webinar. It's brought to you by Innovative Therapeutics and hosted by Fullscript. Listen, patients rely on their doctors to prescribe professional grade supplements, but they often, those patients of ours, purchase them outside of the practice. Sound familiar? Well, today we'll talk to practitioners who have mastered four different strategies to ensure that patients are fulfilling from their practice. You know, we all know Amazon is rapidly changing the world we live in. And Integrative Therapeutics put this lovely resource together to address the Amazon effect as it relates to integrative practitioners. So let's watch this video about the stats and trends. And this was pulled, by the way, from patient surveys and as well slice data. So that was a trend report video. You know, Integrative Therapeutics spoke with several doctors and looked at the slice data to bring you the Amazon Effect IQ, which you can actually download from the landing page for this webinar. And we'll also follow up with you just to make sure you have it. You know, working with successful practitioners, they boiled it down to four key strategies that you can follow to compete with Amazon. So first of all, MSRP pricing, that stands for Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price. Work with professional supplement brands who don't discount their standard prices online. This way, you can offer patients a discount that Amazon can't. Another term for this is MAP, which means minimum advertised price. All right, strategy number two, offer a digital fulfillment program. Patients love ordering from the comfort of their homes. There are several options for online dispensaries and they're listed in the Amazon Effect IQ that you can download or you will be getting a reminder email about. Number three, implement follow-up programs. Use digital follow-up reminders to help patients keep on their programs. You know, these can come in the form of text message, email, other digital nudges. It's the contact that we have with our patients. Amazon can't do that. And finally, strategy number four, create easy to understand wellness programs. Make your program easy to follow and help patients understand the why, all right? So much more robust than just ordering a supplement. So we're actually gonna speak to some of the doctors from the Amazon Effect IQ today and take a deeper dive into four, these four strategies. So first off, I'm gonna welcome Dr. Chris Sargent and she's gonna tell us about one of the key strategies to competing with Amazon and that's having a digital fulfillment program. There you are, hi there. Hey, Holly, how are you? Great, Chris, so um, get, do me a favor, give us a quick rundown um, of your practice called Restore. Sure, so I've been in practice forever. Um, <laughs> I actually started uh, functional medicine back when I was in chiropractic school back in 92. I won't give you the long story, I'll give you the short story. Um, and I practiced chiropractic and functional medicine up until about five years ago. And I decided that really my passion lies in functional medicine and I wanted to write a book, check. Um, and so I really dove into how to make functional medicine easier for me and for my staff at the time and for the patients and everybody involved. And everybody was buying stuff from Amazon. <clears throat> And I had this huge, huge shelf in my office full of products. And my accountant said, how much inventory do you have? <laughs> you know, and when it comes to the tens of thousands in inventory and you're out of the one thing that they need, all of a sudden you just want to, you know, it just gets crazy. So I, um, you know, that was, that was my start down, how I started down finding some other ways around how can I keep patients getting what I know they need and understanding the products that they need to get, fulfilling the, the, the 
my prescription for them, right? They're, they're, they're a plan, right? They need to stay on plan. And frankly, Fullscript was just a piece of that puzzle. So this is the online dispensary strategy that is so important to your practice, correct? That is true. Yep. And there's, you know, there was, there's, there's, for me, there's three parts that are digital. Sure. Um, the first is the living matrix that, that helps the patients understand it's a beautiful visual of the seven basic functions or dysfunctions of, for a patient. And they can understand how their body is creating and has created symptoms, um, out of their dysfunctions. So that helps them understand what's wrong. And then we can, we put together, you know, we do labs in my office, we do labs, and I run them through Evexia, Evexia, um, or it used to be called Doctor's Choice. And so we get this beautiful report. So I get this beautiful report on Living Matrix. We get this rundown of exactly what types of supplements they need from Avexia. And then I pull up full script and go, here you go. And you will find that in your mailbox, done. Yes. And patients have three, like two solid ways that they know what they need already from those two pieces of digital information. And then it's like a no brainer. Why would they go somewhere else when it's going to go right to their house? Right. And then you have all of the, um, the perks as well as being able to give them a nudge or give them a reminder or the automatic refills that are available. So let me ask you a question. Um, did you face any problems when you first implemented your online uh, dispensary? Honestly, no, none. Um, I think that, um, we had a we had a couple of supply issues, but I think it was just because Fullscript didn't understand how much of a particular product I use, and so they it was their problem, not mine. But let me tell you, the customer service was outstanding, 100% outstanding. Um, so that was kind of just a glitch, and it was just for a couple of weeks. But in terms of implementation, no, I just started right away. I put it right in. I print it out so they take it with them. Like they have a reminder in, you know, it does, if it gets lost in their car, they're going to find it or their purse. They're going to find it eventually and they're going to run, remember to go to their email. So I print it out so they have a hard copy and we can walk through it if they have any questions. Um, and, then, and then I also have a copy for my file. Great, of course. So then once again, um, you have the ability on that online uh, platform to offer the discounts that we talked about that can keep you competitive when it comes to uh, sort of pricing against Amazon. Yeah, so in full script, you have the ability to put in however much discount you want. Um, I generally carry about a 5% discount um, across the board for everybody. And people are like, oh, that's so nice. But then a couple times a year, you know, like, oh, for my birthday, you're going to get a discount or for the holidays or for, I don't know, because I feel like it. Or frankly, from the marketing position, if you see there's some ways to track your supplement sales. If you need to send out like a mass email to all of your clients and say, hey, we're having a sale. Have you detoxed lately? You know, maybe spring detox and your sales are kind of down because their new year's resolutions have kind of shoved off whatever like oh look spring is coming let's do a detox 10 percent off my site this weekend only and so you can use it as just some short term i just use it in short term burst and i put it down to like i'll take another five percent off like 10 percent off so you use the flexible and customizable um discount options for basically a marketing tool yes i do um, I give like for my seniors, I, they always get 10% off. And then if I have a, a, a sale, they're going to get 15. So you can, de you, it can depend on which patient, like su students and seniors, you know, I got a soft start. What can I say? <laughs> so they oh, get so a little bit more. Yeah. So it sounds like you've, since you've implemented, I mean, this is one of the key strategies, right? So having it a is. digital program, since you've implemented it, you've seen pretty much many different benefits in your practice, correct? Tons. And I always know when I'm going to get paid. They pick one day a week. It shows up in your account the next day. And you don't have to worry about inventory and fulfilling and balancing your cash flow. This is cash flow every single week. And you've got the direct patient care um, touch built right in there. So, all right, Dr. Chris Sargent, thank you so much for breaking that down, that strategy of having an online digital fulfillment uh, program. One of the ways we can compete with Amazon and keep our patients closer to our practices and our hearts. Yes, I love that. Thank you. All right, we'll see you at the end of the show. Thank you. All right, so next we're actually going to talk 
um, we'll not talk, we'll have a Q&A with Dr. Chris Oswald, and he could not be here today. So um, we put together a little pre-recorded segment, and before we play that, I actually want to just read his bio. So Dr. Chris Oswald has been in practice for over 11 years. As a certified nutrition specialist, he focuses on the biochemistry individuality in every patient. Through his studies and continued clinical experience, Dr. Oswald has developed a highly effective approach to support those struggling with weight gain, fatigue, depression, and digestive problems. He and his business partner have been able to maintain a large number of patients with a relatively small staff by implementing tools that allow them to focus on their patients and not all that administrative work. All right, he's gonna to talk to us about how he implemented follow-up programs and pricing strategies to keep patients living in the ecosystem of his practice, not going to Amazon. And these are the strategies number one and number three from the Amazon effects. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Chris Oswald. Uh, you know, I get a lot of questions about follow-up programs with patients. It's something that, you know, when I started in practice, there were no good follow-up programs. I just had to rely on like remembering when I talked to patients, um, Excel sheets, just very crude reminder systems, and it was all on me. Um, so really my knowledge of this and my pursuit of where I am now is something out of necessity. When I see patients for nutritional types of concerns and nutritional types of needs, on the front end, you know, I might see them two or three times over the course of that first month, but as time goes on, things really spread out. So I might not see people for six months. I might not see people for a year, but it doesn't mean that they don't need a little bit of consistency and reminders in some of the things that they're doing. Like we're all kind of tweaking those recommendations that we find on labels based on our experience and understanding what our patients need the most. So as we do that, we start to get a one bottle that'll last 20 days, another bottle that might last two months, one bottle that might only last 10 days. And then like, how am I supposed to keep track of that all? Plus all my other patients that I'm doing the same thing with. Over time, I kind of developed my own little internal systems and made it up as I go, kind of how we all do a little bit as we're figuring it out. Um, but then I found, and my business partner, found a program called Health, Health Wave when it was in its infancy. But now HealthWave is known as Fullscript, which Fullscript has built out this amazing suite of different functionality and different pieces to their product. So with this, it's just built in. Patient gets a reminder. They get told, hey, you're about to run out of this thing. Would you like to order another bottle? And the nice part is the communication pathways now, it's very seamless, whether it's email and a text message, all of these different pathways, patients can engage with it how they like. They just kind of put out a lot of different offerings of how that might be. But when you're putting this in, it's like we all know, okay, I want Anne to take two of this supplement for breakfast and two for dinner. All I need to do is put in two twice a day into this, just how we would write a normal script for somebody, just to BID, boom, easy, done, very, very simple. And then on the back end, the software does the calculation. I started to have less patients coming back for the same problem. Um, and on top of that, I'll have patients, if there's a new problem, they'll come back because there's also kind of that top of mind where they're hearing from me, the, the idea of just that consistent, gentle nudge of, hey, remember me, I wanna keep helping you do well, helps to keep them out of my office for that problem, but also helps to remind them that I'm here for them in case they have a new problem. People know that I'm gonna set this up with them. People know that it's gonna remind them. Um, they're, they're comfortable with it, they signed up for it, they enjoy that reminder, they enjoy that access and that communication pathway. Of, it's just a gentle nudge. It's not, hey, I want you to buy a whole bunch of new stuff. It's, hey, remember that plan that we worked on because you came to me with a problem? It's time to continue on that. You need to re-up your supplements, re-up your prescriptions of what you need to achieve those goals that we talked about. 
I can selectively say, you know what? This plan is going to be incredibly expensive for what you need. If you're in, I can give you, I'm, it's, I can give 35% off and just say, you know what? I don't need to make the money on this one. I really like want them to be better. So it has all this flexibility in how I price where I can just say, you know what? MSRP, I'm going to compete with the big guys where I think that I'm strong enough to compete with their pricing. Well, no, if I'm selling for full price, people might buy it the first time and second time, but they're gonna soon start finding new places or they might just go and find what they feel is a like item for a lot cheaper. Like, generally, I'll say, hey, this is the product you need. This is the price that we can offer you. If you can find it for less elsewhere, by all means, go for it. But I'm, like, I do want to know if you're doing that because then maybe we need to adjust our pricing strategies because how that's gone. Um, and then you can kind of pick everything in between. And it's not, it's hard to say this is the strategy that works best for everybody because it doesn't. Like everybody's got a different revenue model and a different focus on where they draw their revenue. I kind of like the idea of helping people to get on board. I know people are interested in supplements and providing like world-class supplements at a price that's going to be better than most places. A lot of times, a lot of companies out there that are honestly trying to protect their brand and protect their price. So places like Amazon doesn't erode it down to basically loss leader pricing types of strategies. Uh, they'll have like a map agreement where you have to, if you're going to sell it on Amazon, it has to be for this amount. No questions asked. You sell it for less, you get shut off. You don't get to sell that anymore, which I love to see from a lot of these brands that are starting to show up on Amazon. And it really doesn't, that makes me feel good about when it shows up there because patients, patients can go search and maybe it's a $50 supplement and that's what it has to sell for there. I'm selling it for 45. What's going to happen? Patients going to be feel good about the fact that I'm giving them a discount. I can legally give a discount through this because it's more of a private transaction. I'm not just putting this out to the world for anybody to come through. It is a patient of, this person is a patient of mine who I have a personal relationship with. So I can give them 35% off if I want. I can give them 5% off. I can give the same price as Amazon, which at that point, I'm gonna lose the sale to Amazon. They're gonna buy the exact same product or a like product and take it, um, just get it from there. And it's just, you need to change, you need to adapt, but it also helps to know the rules. And, you know, when you understand this is a brand that I work with, this is a brand I trust, like honestly, Integrative, it's like, clinically, they're 90% of what I use. So it's one where, yep, I have seen elsewhere, but I know that how they price, this is what it is. And I can always beat that by as much, by as much or as little as I feel I need to. Dr. Chris Oswald talking about a couple of strategies, uh, strategic pricing for sure, a flexible and customizable, and as well that follow-up program that I think is, is the sweet spot, and especially, especially in that relationship building, trust, connection, contact with our patients. All right, the last practitioner we're gonna talk to uh, is Victoria Albert. Bina, uh, hey, how Hello. are you? I'm well, how are you? All right, I'm great. We're cruising along here in this webinar, the Amazon Effect IQ. Um, so we're gonna be talking about this last key strategy uh, to competing with Amazon, and that's easy to understand wellness plans. So before we jump into all that good stuff, um, give me a little rundown of your practice. Yeah, so I'm a functional medicine nurse practitioner, herbalist and life coach. I practice in Manhattan. Uh, and my passion is really uh, helping women get to the root cause of fatigue, digestive concerns, depression, anxiety, and autoimmunity. I really love to help women who've been to tons of providers and haven't gotten what they needed by really listening deeply. Nice. I love that. Well, are, how long are you booked out? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, um, I, I am releasing a podcast in February where I'll be... Uh, sending all these bite-sized bits of wisdom out there into the universe. Great, what will you, what your podcast be called? It's called Feminist Wellness, Holistic Health for Whole Women. All right, congratulations. So why are easy to understand wellness plans so important in your practice? Yeah, so 
Well, I mean, it begins with empowerment, right? And so many of my patients who, again, have gone to primary care, to multiple specialists, and aren't getting the care that they need, aren't getting those root cause answers that we in functional and naturopathic medicine can offer, come to us pretty short on hope. Yeah. And when I can meet someone where they're at and really empower them to understand their plan, of course they're going to do what we've co-created, right? Because it's not me saying, you need to take a thing. It's us sitting together and having energy and chemistry between us to, to co-create, to really decide together, this is too many pills, that's not enough, right? Let's add a powder, let's do a liquid, let's do a tincture. Let's really make this work for your life as opposed to being another stressor. Yeah, you know, I, um, there's, I have to give credit where credit's due, but this saying I um, saw from a colleague of mine, Dr. Ben Reeves, uh, and it was hashtag naturopathic, but as you said, you know, looking at um, systems of medicine that are much more comprehensive or common sense comprehensive medicine, like functional medicine, naturopathic medicine, and integrative or integrative medicine, I'd say, um, but that it's not a protocol, it is a relationship. Yeah. And I think that's what you're, you're definitely pointing yeah. out there. So before you per perfected your wellness plans, did you face certain compliance issues with your patients? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I many, many moons ago before Fullscript was sending random Emerson links or Amazon links or was just telling folks to like try to find this locally because that is possible here in New York. Um, and folks were coming back with similar-ish products with really scary excipients or something. That they got maybe at Dwayne Reed? Yeah, yeah. Or even at a health food store, but they were getting right. lesser quality um, or a lesser dose. Um, you know, if I had said 600 milligrams of NAC, they picked up a 200 because it looked similar. Um, and it was really, there was too much space for folks who were already really stressed out about their health to try to make these decisions about, you know, looking at two bottles and trying to pick the one that was right. Um, and Fullscript has helped me to really integrate that and say, here's a you know, four things you need, here's your dosing, click and go. Nice, yeah, that's great. So when you're designing these plans, um, how do you ensure that your patients understand them fully? Like, what's that process like for you? Yeah, so one of the first questions I ask a new patient is, how nerdy do you want me to get? And so I say, I can meet you at like a kindergarten bio level, we can go to high school bio, we could go to high school honors, or like I can go full PhD on you. And so by understanding how much science and nerdetry they actually want from me, I can explain the why, right? So if someone really wants to understand why we're doing a methylated B, for example, I can go all MTHFR on them and I can explain, you know, whatever phase one, phase two detox of the liver and can really get in there and draw pictures and really make a diagram that helps people to understand which root cause we're addressing, why and how, um, regardless of how, how sciencey they want me to get. Um, sometimes I'll use metaphor, narrative, um, really make a story that patients can understand and connect with in their own way. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that you say that, you know, this webinar is being brought to you by Integrative Therapeutics, and I know they've done a lot of work. They have so many resources, I think, for practitioners, yeah. um, period. But a lot of work in the compliance and, um, I would say, uh, yeah, compliance versus adherence. And I think what you're right. talking about, I always think is compliance is like, all right, Victoria told me to do this, right? Right. But right. adherence is faithful attachment to something. And I love that you go in and you figure out and find out where your patient how they want to be spoken to, how they want to be taught, what works for them best. I'm the same way. I have folks that'll say, I'll do anything you say. Right. And then I have folks that say a whole range of other things. And right. so it's important to know, right? I think it's part of that individualized medicine and personalized medicine. Um, and so that, that adherence though, if they can understand the why, the rationale, um, right. and embracing your relationship with them and not just the protocol, I think this uh, strategy of, of being able to have wellness plans that make that connection once again that Amazon can't do is a great one. Yeah, and really again, meeting your patient where they're at, right? So folks come to me and say, you know, I'm just really kind of pilled out. Like I've been taking so many supplements. It's, it got really stressful. And really stepping back and looking in part from a cognitive behavioral lens, that story of stress and really looking at that so we can break it down and reduce that overwhelm experience. 
and then helping folks to find other ways, right? Magnesium comes as a powder. Electrolytes come as a powder. We can use Vitex as a tincture, right? But just really working again from an empowerment and a consent model and making sure that the patient is really giving their full hearted consent to the care plan um, is really, I think, part of why my gals get better and stay better. And they stay with you and they don't go and elsewhere for anything. I love them so much. <laughs> All right, Victoria, thank you so much. That is our, our fourth strategy, uh, being able to have easy to understand and engaging wellness plans. All right. Well, folks, I want to thank you so much. This has been incredible. We've talked to these great practitioners when it comes to the Amazon effect, uh, how it's helped them in their practice. Integrative Therapeutics boils it down to these four key strategies. I'm going to repeat them for you. Work with practitioner brands with the MSRP pricing integrity that needs to happen. Offer an online fulfillment program, easy peasy for your office and super easy for your patients. Win, 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 in my opinion. Implement follow up programs so they get that contact, that nudge, that touch from you, and then create these easy to understand wellness plans. So after the show, we will be following up with some of these resources that Integrative Therapeutics has put together to empower practitioners in this area. And I really want to thank them. And if you have not visited the Integrative Pro site, you should, because as I said before, they are amazing at providing really wonderful, easy to use resources that can help automate and fulfill your practice with ease and comfort and it also makes a user experience for your patients so nice. I also want to thank Fullscript for hosting this webinar and for all the great work that they do, once again, uh, making your practice just run a little bit smoother. I'm Dr. Holly Lucille. Thanks so much for joining us.